What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. So I recently put out a little short film that I made called The Lovers, which was inspired by a uh, artwork that I really liked called The Lovers uh, by Rene Magritte. Um, and yeah, so I had a friend ask me how I did one of the shots from the short and so I thought I'd just make a little tutorial. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm just gonna start off with the, the basics of this effect. So it's a really simple effect, but let me just show you the basics of it so that you can apply it to other things and then I'll show you how I did it. So the shot that we're going to be recreating is this shot up here with the fingers connecting. So it's a pretty simple effect uh, using X particles and yeah, let's jump straight into it. Cool, so let's just start with something basic over here. Let's add in a cube and the particle system and Let's go over here, set the emission to object, and set the object to this cube. Let's make the cube editable, and just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna make a selection over here, and put that selection in here. So now when we press play, it's gonna be shooting from that point over there. The reason it's only coming out as one is because of the fact that there is only one polygon center and that's what it's uh, set to. So we could set it to polygon area and we would get more. Pretty simple. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be wrapping particles around something. So let's add a polar surface, put the surface that we want. So that's going to be this cube. Press play and now they're going to stick to the surface. So now if we had to add something like maybe turbulence just increase the string, it's gonna follow that, uh, follow the cube. Uh, you'll see it's going oh, like a little bit crazy over here, but that's just because of the scale and the strength is so high. So yeah, let's jump straight into the actual part of this tutorial. So over here, I got this model of the hand that I used, and yeah, so this is what we're gonna use. So let's add another particle system. Set the objects to hand, and then on the hand, we're just gonna make a selection. So I just selected the tip of this finger because that's where I wanted the particles to come from. So let's go up here, select, set selection. So now we have a set selection tag. So in the middle, we can now put that over there. Cool, and if we press play, is it working correctly? It is. Awesome. Cool, now let's add in this follow surface modifier. Uh, on the surface, let's add this female over here. So now if we press play, it should go around the person. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it over here. But as you can see, we don't have any actual trails and it's kind of hovering above it. So let's fix the first one by making it a shot. We can also slow it down a bit because it is quite fast. So we can change that over here by the speed of the initial particle. So now it goes a lot slower and so it can be a little bit more traumatic as we move the camera through it. Uh, you'll notice that over here, there's quite a big distance over here. That's because the particle radius is set to three centimeters. So if we have to make it like one, for instance, it's gonna be just on top, but that's still not what we want. Let's make it like 0.5, and that's a little bit better. Uh, it's okay if there's still a little bit of a gap because of the fact that we're gonna add on a trail and then the trail will have its own geometry to it. So yeah, it's add over here a XP trail in the generators tab and then add this emitter as the object. So now if we press play we should get these pretty cool trails. And let's see, yeah that looks pretty cool. So um, same thing with the example of the cube. You'll see that there's only like five or six that are actually coming out and that's because of the fact that over here we only have this many polygons and it's only going to emit a particle from each of the center of these polygons. So we can change that over here by creating, by going to object and setting it to polygon area. Now when we press play, there will be a lot more. So we can also change the amount that we want. If we go over here into the emission, we can make it like 100, say now, so that there's less. Or we can, you know, put 10,000 there and just completely cover the object. It all depends on what you want to do, but yeah, it's very art directable which is quite nice. Cool, but yeah, let's set it to like 100 for now. Let's see how that looks. Because we do want it to cover the whole object, but also leaving space. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Nice. Okay, so now let's open up a Octane Live View over here. 
and we're gonna add a C40 object tag onto the trail and we're gonna go into the here over here and turn that on. That will turn all these trails into actual geometry that Octane can see. But you'll see that the lines over here are super thin, but over here they're super big and clunky. That's an easy fix. Here we just go to the root thickness and we change that to whatever we want. So I wanted for my um, for my project, I wanted it to be really small and thin pieces so that it looked really, I don't know, elegant in a way. But yeah, if you wanted to make it thick, you can make it super thick. It all depends on what you want to do. But yeah, this way of doing it is very procedural, so it's very easy to like off-direct what you're wanting it to do. And we can even hide it. So that's kind of what I did. I had one where you're actually able to see the fingers and then the another one where you don't, all you see is the particles going. So that's how I did that, just by hiding it. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the tutorial. Yeah, so if you're interested, I've uploaded the project file onto my Patreon. And in that file, you'll see that it has the entire scene over here with both hands that are connecting with some textures and some background and some fog. So it's a pretty simple scene and there's just some basic camera movements to it. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested in that, you can download that in the description. But yeah, thank you for joining me here today. And if you're interested in more of this work, please subscribe. And yeah, if you're interested, follow me on Instagram. I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere on the screen. And yeah, I'll see you guys again next time. Cheers.